your dogs. You said he um, perhaps gets a little protective of you. And I know also you said on the beach, you know, he does uh, go and perhaps bark at other dogs. Um, and also with uh, people approaching him, I know you said that he might show a little bit of teeth if you, you know, go in to grab him or something if someone comes up to go get him. Uh, so we'll be working on that right now. As you can see, we have uh, another dog in the room here with our handler and trainer, Miss Lisa. And uh, this is Bonnie, the Ridgeback, and she's probably one of the biggest dogs that we have here, so we thought it would be a good idea to, to use her uh, with Brutus. However, Brutus has not shown any um, signs of really being interested in Bonnie whatsoever, um, and also uh, another dog that we brought in. She was more medium size, so totally fine, and he was really lovey-dovey with her. So um, this will be mostly uh, instructional for you when you do uh, take him out, um, and he does see other dogs, and he does have that reaction like you described earlier. And uh, we're going to talk about how to correct it, how to manage that behavior. And uh, we'll start right now. Mr. Brutus is laying down. So, all right. So as you can see, we have some rude behavior going on on uh, Bonnie's behalf here. And uh, when a dog does come right up to his face, he does back up a little bit. That's totally fine. He wants to make sure that he maintains that space between him and the other dog. So when we have a rude dog that perhaps will come in, maybe she just wants to say hi, give him kisses, that may not be perceived so well uh, by Brutus. So we want to make sure that we do um, avoid that nose-to-nose -nose contact there. All right, so you be able to go right off to the side here. Thank you. Why he's being told no or why he's giving a correction. 
All right, so we do have uh, something called positive punishment and negative punishment. Positive punishment would mean using your lead to actually tell him, make sure that he knows what no is. So when you do tell the dog no, you do um, it's a little tug off to the side, no, making sure that you say that word when you give him a correction. And of course, since he's uh, a little guy, you don't want to do it too hard. That's why we do have the, uh, the slip lead on him. So basically, it's just one movement of your wrist, no, making sure that he knows that word. So every time you give him a correction, no. And then enough, uh, soon enough, he'll be able to just respond immediately to no without you having to do uh, give him a correction. Uh, negative uh, punishment would be presenting him with a treat, asking him to do something, and if he doesn't do it, then just taking it away. So what we want to do is make sure that we utilize that positive punishment, that correction on the lead, making sure that he knows, no, correction, no. And then after he's over and done with everything, then he can be presented with a treat at the very end. All right, so we want to make sure that he associates uh, training with uh, positive things. You also want to make sure that you end on a positive note as well. So if you're working with him and perhaps, you know, he doesn't really listen at the time, um, if you're getting frustrated or if he's kind of over it because you know how dogs are. They're working on something for a little bit and all of a sudden when they're done, they're done. So you want to make sure you can redirect him, give him something that you know he's able to do. Simple, like sit. Sit. Good. Sit. Make sure that you go in. Um, give him his uh, affection when he does a good job. Reinforce the command. Good. Sit, Brutus. And then you can end on that note. Give him a, a treat or whatever you like, but always make sure that you end on a positive note. We have to wake up, baby. Oh. Okay, so we can wake Mr. Brutus up and wake Miss Maya here. Um, and so when we do have Brutus uh, on the leash, and because he's right next to you, you see him perhaps getting really fixated on something, um, a dog or a person. What it's going to look like is instead of a little stare, you know, they're just checking it out. Okay, what's my owner doing now? He's really going to get that tunnel vision going on. Ears are going to be forward. Perhaps his stance is a little bit more um, puffed up. He's ready to, you know, check out this dog, see what's going on. So that means he's getting fixated. So ears forward. He's got that stare going on, tunnel vision. His stance is probably a little bit like this. So you want to make sure you can redirect that to you. You can either give him uh, Brutus, watch me, or look. And if that doesn't work, a correction. No, you don't appreciate that behavior. You want him to be focused on you and not the other dog or person. All right, so come on, Brutus. Sit. Good boy, good sit. And uh, Miss Bonnie uh, will be able to walk around us here. Uh, over 
Brutus, the closer he is to you. So, can't wait to work with Mr. Brutus again. We'll see you guys later. Uh, it's going to be cool here. Brutus working on um, basically introducing him to new dogs and making sure that we can manage unwanted behavior if he does exhibit that. We'll see you guys later. Bye.